Right, so in the newest version of Adobe Premiere Pro, I got this low level error, the player 83 and the player 6 error and all that stuff. I got different ones and that was the first time I got them and I have four solutions for you to fix this right now. So I'm just going to go with the solution that worked best for me. I just went into the creative cloud, which you will probably have if you have a legal version of Premiere. And then you go into Premiere Pro and then you will see here other versions if you click on the three dots over here. And then you install the 14.0.4 uh, version. That's the previous one, which doesn't have the problem for me at least. So that fixed it for me. Make sure you don't update it after you install the old version, of course. Then a second thing you can do is to go into the beta apps. If the first one doesn't work for you, you can go into the beta apps and you can install the beta of Premiere Pro, which also has the fix for the legacy title tool. For example, if you install that, it will be fixed, I guess, as well. I didn't try this one, but uh, on the forums, I read that it could have been fixed by that as well. Now, the biggest issue was if I took a title and I put it in my timeline, this became red and then I got a low level exception error here, something like that. Now I don't have it anymore. If you still have it after you have did all the reinstalling and all that stuff, you can go into file, you go to project settings, general, and then in the general, you change this one instead of Mercury playback engine, GPU acceleration recommended, you go to Mercury playback engine software only. That will fix it, but it will be a bit of a workaround. You will still have issues, but everything will work, but not rendered. And it, that was not a very good fix for me, in my opinion. And then last one I saw also on YouTube, which I didn't try, but maybe if all these other three don't work, you can try it yourself. On Mac, before you start up Premiere, you keep holding the uh, options button. And I think on Windows, it will be the alt button when you click Premiere and then you will have the uh, option to erase all the general settings of Premiere Pro. But still, I would recommend you to go back to an older version of Premiere, which doesn't have the problem I had right now. So I'm very happy I could fix it on my own PC. I hope it gets fixed for yours as well. If it does, leave a like and a sub below for more content. And I hope I'll see you in my next video.